Chapter 3, The Quarterback's Girl. It was pretty similar to what happened in reading class today. The teacher, teacher introduced herself, gave us some free time to goof off, and other stuff. In front of me was a black lab. She had ice blue eyes, a pink low pigmented nose, and that glossy black coat. I started to sing a song just to waste away time. The girl dog turned around and looked at me, properly balanced and graceful. Nice voice you got there! She smiled at me. You gonna try out for SK and May and make some use out of it? I'll think about it, I said. For now, I'm just gonna live in the moment. Whoa, well, hi, she said. My name is Lilac. Buddy, I said. It's a pleasure to talk to you, she said, offering her paw. Wanna do a duet with me? Yeah, I replied. I don't see why we can't try. Katie, who sat across the room, popped her head in. Lilac sniffed the air, then me. You smell strange. That strange odor. Make sure to watch yourself. Not everyone is who you think they are. I nodded my head in agreement. Noted. There was a girl named Burley. She woke up this morning. I started to sing. Then Lilac adds, adds in. She had a lot of fun until she saw. I joined in. Something with a very long, yelling, big claws. She had the big, scary Crocodile blues. Katie harmonized nice for us during the chorus every time. Long tail baby claws. She had the big scary crocodile blues. Lilac did a solo part. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you had them too. The gang finished off the short song with a how, how as the bell rang for lunch. The three dogs tumbled to lunch happily. In the cafeteria, I took a seat with Lacey and Buster. Buster looked at me with an evil grin. Hey, buddy, what? Buddy asked. Buster pointed his paw over at Jenkins and Lilac sang together. See that chow dog over our... I nodded my head. Yeah? I want you to go bite this girl. Buster laughed. But Lilac is my friend, I argued. If you want to be our friend, Buster started to say, you can't be their friends. Okay, I said hesitantly. I'll do it. Oh, yeah. Buster cheered. Get her, buddy! I ran over to Lilac's behind and bit her tail. It was then that she winced in pain, pain and turned around to see me. How could you? Jenkins started to growl and jumped off of his chair. He was snarling. Did you have a reason to bite my girl? I shook in fear. Buster told me... Jenkins placed his paw over my muzzle. Don't listen to anything he says. He's the biggest sociopath path you'll ever meet. Hey, come sit with us if you want to. I chuckled and sat down beside of Lilac and Jenkins as Katie moved over to sit with them as well. The name is Jenkins, he said. I'm the quarterback of the football team. Buster has always been green with envy about it. Lilac quickly nuzzled Jenkins and nodded his head at me again, looking pleased to have met me. Chapter 4, Meeting Mess-Up Buster, I would like you to deliver a message to everyone. That there's a football meeting at 1.10. My knight approached him. I would announce it myself, but I'm kind of busy during this time. He carried his lunch bag with his food in it into his room and out of the cafeteria. Buster chuckled evilly. 
This was his chance to ruin things for Jenkins and take his spot as quarterback. The bell rung, which signaled that lunch was over. He dumped out his leftovers and ran into the halls with his companion, Lacey. They headed back to their electives and spent their time in there. When it was time to leave electives, he found himself walking beside a Jenkins. Hey Jenkins, there's a meeting at 240. Just wanted to let you know. Jenkins nodded his head. Of course, Buster was mean, but it was unusual for him to lie about something like this. Jenkins always trusted Buster's word when it came to things like this. In my time, 3 o'clock was 5th period. Then, six, then 3.30 was 6th period. I cut out of class at 2.40 to see McKnight and the team, only to see an angry face. But not looked at me angrily. Jenkins, I'm tired of this. Why are you always late for meetings, huh? I was more angry at him than he than he was at me. Why did he treat me so unfairly? I was on time, wasn't I? I could barely hold back anything anymore, so I lashed out at him. Oh, I'm so sick of you. Telling me everything I do isn't good enough. You just want to pointlessly attack me. You know what? I hate you. I'm glad you feel that way. Mud Knight said. Because tonight is your last position. Your last night. With the quarterback position. Mud Knight looked at me. More upset than I've ever seen him. Buster, come over here. Buster walked over with an evil smirk. You're the new quarterback now, Mud Knight said. 